Well, it's that time again, everybody. Welcome back to another Ghoul's PBS Eminem album review. Uh, so last time I didn't really do like a full album go through since it was just a fucking deluxe album, but I did do it back for Curtain Call 2. So we're kind of going for the same type of thing here. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the full album review of The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Gras. So how I'm going to be doing this video is basically I'm just going to go by one by one all the tracks in the album, just kind of give you my uh, thoughts on them, brief footnotes, and then at the end I'm going to give kind of a recap and you know what I think of the album. So feel free to just skip to that timestamp if you don't really care about each individual song, you know, if you just want to, you know, get the vibe of the album, see how good it is, you can skip to there if you want. But without further ado, Let's get into The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Gras. So first up on the track list is Renaissance. So this seems like, you know, some sort of old Eminem song, likely like maybe Recovery Era, something like that. Um, for all I know, it could just be like AI generated Eminem voice or some bullshit, but um, you know, I'd, I'd like to think it's not, but it was honestly, pretty damn good song. I mean, you can't really go too wrong with, you know, old school Eminem. Uh, track number two, Habits. Honestly, pretty fire, especially for, you know, new school Eminem. Um, it's definitely, like, this is peak new era Eminem, I would at least say. Granted, he's still got, you know, some of his cringe-ass bars, you know, that, that's been around for a while, though. I think we've, we've kind of accepted that at this point. Number three, it's just kind of like an interlude, but it's got hella relapse vibes. I fuck with it. Number four, Brand New Dance, is probably the best song on the album. Um, it's like an unreleased song from the encore era, and it goes fucking hard. It's just a bop. Number five is Evil, and I thought Evil was pretty damn good. Um, honestly, it reminded me of kind of like music to be murdered by, you know, at its best. Um, and it was pretty good. Not bad. Number six is a skit, and I don't have much to say about that. Number seven, Lucifer. Honestly, I thought this one was kind of a banger. Goes pretty damn hard. Um, I also like the uh, elevator reference, you know, that was nice. Track number eight, Antichrist. Honestly, also pretty damn good. Uh, you know, also the line, Nightmares going Freddy on me. <laughs> this is like some uh, playing Fortnite with your grandma type shit. Uh, it's got the busy outro. Who could say no to a busy outro? So, good song. Number 10, Road Rage. Uh, it's like, I, you know, I can vibe with the Lizzo slander, but yeah, it, there's a lot of this song that like weirdly fixates on the, uh, the trans shit, where it's like, okay, Eminem. It's like, I, I, I don't hate it, but definitely one of the weaker songs on the album. Um, number 11, Houdini. Um, it has the most cringe bars than probably any other song in this album but it's also still like a little bit of a bop. Um, so it's not bad, but honestly, I don't really know why this was the single. Like I get it, cause it's probably the most catchy with this, about to get in my bag, bruh, <laughs> um, repeating over and over. But um, genuinely, there was a lot of better songs on this album and to have this one get the music video and single treatments, a little bit funny. Next up, number 12, breaking news. Um, it's just another skit, moving on. Number 13, Guilty Conscious 2. Honestly, I feel like this should have been called like My Darling 2. Um, it, it, it seems kind of more My Darling-esque than it actually feels like Guilty Conscious, but you know, who knows, maybe I'm tripping with that statement. But I will say that this is definitely like in my top three on the album. I thought this was a pretty good song. Next up, 14, we've got Head Honcho. Um, I thought this one was like, meh. Uh, I thought it was one of the weaker ones on the album, but still not like terrible. 15, temporary. Uh, I thought it was pretty nice. You know, it's one of those like, uh, you know, songs for Haley from Eminem. So, you know, it's a nice like heartfelt song and it's not bad either. So moving on. Bad one, honestly, I really fuck with the Eminem verse on here. Give, it's kind of got like some Marsh vibes, but a little bit different. Uh, not a fan of the hook though. Brother Limes, Brother Rhymes Platinum with diamond, with bad one, and with go now. 
like I don't even know I don't even know what brother's rhyme scheme is he doesn't even do like the relapse thing where you like acts do a different accent or in you know, different inflection on your voice like no it was just brothers just rapping so okay number 17 toby uh this is all right like i'm not like a huge big sean guy baby tron's okay um it's like all right once again though it's like okay this is what gets the music video treatment like like i get it it's got the big features and shit but nah, i don't know 18 guess who's back skit you know we get the return of ken kniff oh boy everyone's favorite um and then the final song Number 19, Somebody Save Me, Feet Jelly Roll. Um, and this is, yeah, it's a good song. This is, you know, like, uh, Eminem's goodbye message to Haley for, you know, when he dies. But the Eminem's kind of already done that with, like, When I'm Gone and with, like, Castle and a Rose almost. Um, not that I'm saying it's overplayed, but I'm just saying, you know, there's, there's definitely a lot of these songs, which I, I don't mind necessarily. So that's gonna do it for the track list and my just kind of initial thoughts on all the songs. Now, after listening to it, I was pleasantly surprised with this album. With Curtain Call 2 and with fucking, you know, the MMLP Deluxe, I was really, really disappointed. And like, you had the NFT drops from Eminem and so much weird shit. Like, yeah, the NFT, the weird metaverse shit. Like, it was just not it. Um, so I'm really happy that he actually put out a decent album. Um, yeah, I'd say the best songs, in my opinion, on this are probably Renaissance, Habits, Brand New Dance, Lucifer, Guilty Conscious 2. Those would probably, you know, what, top five or whatever. Uh, best Thing Fuel, you know, with Jid is also really good. Um, Somebody Save Me is pretty good. Uh, Evil is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's just kind of dope. Oh yeah, Antichrist, you got busy on there, just come on. Uh, so yeah, I'm honestly pretty pleasantly surprised with this album, and I might have to give it a B tier ranking. I think on the official M&M tier list, I would give it a B. So that's gonna do it for today, another M&M video in the books, um, I guess. Let me know what you thought about the album down in the comments, if you have any, uh, I guess, disagreements uh, with you know, the songs or whatever, my takes on them, or a disagreement with my tier list placing, you know, leave a comment down below. If you like the video, leave a like. We've got quite a few videos, like, finally, you know, going to come out, um, so we back, baby. Uh, yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Peace. And then for one extra little plug here at the end, um, if you fuck with our music projects, other shit like that, beats, all that good stuff, go over to our new channel, or I guess newly rebranded channel, uh, Ghoul's MBS. All the music shit's gonna be going there. So yeah, if that's a thing you're a fan of, go check it out. And peace.